This year, students at Judge Memorial participated in a citizen science project, Wasatch Wildlife Watch, with Austin Green from the Biodiversity and Conservation Lab at the University of Utah. So we're heading out to Red Butte Canyon Research Natural Area. This is what you call a Research 1 or a Class 1 wilderness area. It's the highest designation that any type of land can be given under the U.S. Forest Service as far as protected areas go. And so here in Red Butte, it is the most protected an area can be in the United States. What we're doing through Wasatch Wildlife Watch is we're setting up camera traps and we're using these camera traps to basically monitor these things. We want to know where animals are going. We want to know how many animals there are, what types of habitats they use. What we really want to look at is can we identify where wildlife are negatively affected by human activity or human recreational activity and where they're also maybe not as negatively affected. So what we had people do basically uh, is we went and they had to set up a camera but then they also had to check the camera every two weeks or so. And setting up the camera was really cool, um, especially because Austin Green was there with us and so he kind of was able to give us a couple of um, instructions with it, taught us how it worked, um, the different shots that they take, different angles. We have 210 cameras, all with a month's worth of data. And like I said, we're capturing animals every single day. Um, but on top of that, they're taking photos of just anything that's walking by or anything that's moving. For the past three, four years or so, we've been doing trail camera work uh, in the Wasatch, but it has had to be at really small scales. So if you're dealing with more than 10, maybe 20 cameras, uh, you just can't get a lot of information from them. And so with the help of community scientists, we were able to expand this project about tenfold or so. And so currently, once it's all said and done, once we have everything entered, we're gonna have roughly 875,000 photos that we have to look through for this study. And so that's the kind of the next step in the process is we had all these volunteers help us set up these cameras and that was completely awesome and everyone did such a great job. But now we have to start looking through that data. The students in the biology classes and the zoology classes here are going through, they're helping us look through photos from the project. So one of the biggest bottlenecks in this project are the just sheer amount of photos that you get from the cameras. And so when you have a really small subset of people looking through those photographs, it can take a really long time. But if you have a bunch of people looking through those photographs, you can get that done really quickly. It's really important to apply citizen sciences to a research project because um, getting like the community involved makes it so that more people care about what you're studying. It would really help the scientists if they had uh, more help, you know, more hands-on help from uh, teenagers all across. And so the students here at Judge, they're helping us uh, look through these photos, they're helping identify what they see in the camera, and every single time they're clicking identify on their computer, they're sending a data record to our data sheet um, and basically getting us one step closer to our goal. It feels like I'm a part of something bigger than me that could essentially help our environment. And I feel like that experience makes, I don't know, makes science, uh, makes studying, it makes it more worthwhile because it becomes not just something you learn but something you experience. It was kind of a win-win for everyone. We could promote um, wildlife conservation through the community. We could really get a lot of help um, on the actual project, the actual field work by having community scientists participate. And then we could also bolster that public support for um, land management and policy making initiatives that are actually going to result in the change that we're looking to see.